Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and in New York City, where else, a uh, play is, is uh, supposed to be a Shakespearean play, which is based on the assassination of Julius Caesar, but it has substituted a Donald Trump look-like in modern dress for uh, Caesar and his uh, assassins. Delta Airlines and Bank of America have pulled out of this. They've pulled their sponsorship from this uh, playhouse. And I fully support them on that. That's a good thing. Delta Airlines and Bank of America have pulled out of their sponsorship of New York's Public Theater on Sunday of our production of Julius Caesar which reimagines the main character as President Trump. Shortly after Delta, who was his four-year sponsor, made its announcement, Bank of America yanked its support as well. Hopefully we'll get some more that will. The Shakespeare in Park play tells the story of the leader assassinated by Roman senators over the fear he's becoming too tyrannical, but rather in the original setting, the production stages Caesar, Greg Henry, and his wife, Calpurnia, Tina Benko, with Donald and Lonnie and Trump lookalikes. Henry already played a Trump stand-in in scandal last year. Models of Caesar almost perfectly after a man in the office. He meets his end after being stabbed to death by the women and minorities on the stage. So, that's pretty obvious. A white male... You gotta go. These people are sick. Banco who play similarly plays Capernaum with thick Slavic accent, much like Lonnie herself. Rick Rage and his drawn ire from those who say the show promotes violence against the president. Most critics include the president's son, Donald Trump Jr. I wonder how much of this art is funded by tax payers. Serious question. When does art become political speech and does that change things? The younger Trump tweeted Sunday in response to a Fox News article and accused the show of depicting the assassination of the president. Delta, which donates between 100000 and 499000 annually, during the deadline pulled its sponsorship Sunday afternoon. No matter what your political stance may be, the graphic staging of Julius Caesar and Summer's Free Shakespeare in Park does not reflect Delta Airlines values, company spokesman said in a statement. Their artistic and creative direction cross line and um, standards of good taste. We have notified them of our decision and the sponsorship is the official airline of the public theater effectively Immediately, Bank of America, one of the public theaters, dozen corporate sponsors, offered similar reasoning. Bank of America sports art programs worldwide, including an 11-year-old partnership with the public theater in Shakespeare and Park. Spokeswoman told Daily News, public theater chose to present Julius Caesar in a way that was intended to provoke and offend. Had this intention made, been made known to us, we would have decided not to sponsor it. So good for them. I applaud these two companies for doing this. The show does include a warning about the violent nature of the assassination. On the Public Theater's website, artistic director Oscar Eustace said the production should not be taken literally. <laughs> That is BS. In fact, Mr. Uh, Oscar Eustace, I would have, if I was a uh, police chief, you would have a search warrant served on you. Julius Caesar can be read as a warning parable to those who might try to fight democracy by undone, 
undemocratic means, he said that to fight the tyrant does not mean imitating him. Unbelievable. In a statement to WPIX 11, he says that anyone seeing our production of Julius Caesar will realize that no way he advocates violence towards anyone. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Uh, sir, uh, Mr. Oscar Eustace, you are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Eustace previously told news that President Trump was more than welcome to see his show, including Hamilton. Uh, the cast of, if you don't remember Hamilton, uh, cast got into it with Vice President or something. Uh, they are very nasty. Which debuted at Public Theater in February 2015, moved to Broadway's Richard Rogers Theater the following August. He's President of the United States, I'm not going to say no to the President, so I our show. The artistic Director said he hosted politicians before, including Vice President Mike Pence, who was booed at the production of Lynn Manuel Miranda musical. That's what I just mentioned. The uh, controversy comes just after, just days after a comedian Kathy Griffin found, her embroiled, found herself embroiled in scandal after postings for photo holding the cap head head of fake Trump. In 2012 retelling of Julius Caesar play under Barack Obama's Presidency amid Occupy Rome protests at the Capitol. No sponsors were pulled out of that production. Julius Caesar, previews of May, began previews of May, play officially opens Monday and runs through June 18 in the Delcart Theater. Uh... Well, like I said, I would sort of search warrant on these people if they're up to me. They probably don't mean any harm, but there are things that just can't do. I don't use any common sense. Use a original Julius Caesar not an American president. That way it becomes, that way it's history, not a threat. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.